Hi guys. I'm on a deep tail retail park outside the new Sports Direct. I've been here a few times and it seems that uh, Sports Direct are now incorporating all sorts of other businesses, whether they're subletting or what, I don't know. Maybe he can't afford all the bills on his own, guys. I wonder if he's put in public toilets in this one. Yeah, Billionaire, multi-billionaire, and he doesn't put public toilets in his sports shops, guys. So I don't know if he's linked with the... I've already got a video at Flannels a few months ago. So I don't know if... Uh, he's uh, linked with... Flannels guys, I don't know if it's the same company, but isn't that a bit like uh, putting a pound land next door to Harrods, you know? And I, I, I've been told that they're charging like 700 quid for a pair of shoes in this Flannels guys. Yeah. So, make of that what you will, guys. Now I've lost my train of thought there guys. There's some kickoff that's going on out there. You what? Have you been drinking? No, I just need to take a picture of that engine, so I just asked him what you're doing. You weren't asking what I was doing, you asked if I'm alright. <laughs> do I not look alright? What? Do I not look alright? Well, I don't know, you took a picture of him outside our building, so I was just asking if he was alright. So I mean, there's something wrong with me? No, 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 just have to see if you're alright. Have you been set from all guys? You don't know, Dean. No, I don't know. That's saying don't know, yet. so you need to behave accordingly. I'm always here to sit in the back. <laughs> when did this open? Not long ago, was it? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, so as I was saying there guys, in this flannel suit, they're like 700 quid for a pair of shoes, so this flannel is owned by the same guy, is it Mr. Green or something, that owns uh, Sports Direct. He's probably getting this stuff made in the same sweatshop, guys. And then selling it like a hundred times the price in this shop. What a crazy guy. <laughs> Mind you, it looks like it's closed, guys. <laughs> The young lad you seen there, guys, was my last my, my last visit here. He was the one who was uh, giving me hand gestures, guys.
Anyway, I'm not here to film stuff, guys. I'm trying to zoom in on some of these silly prices, guys. It's all probably made in the same kids' sweatshop as the stuff next door, guys. charge 30 40 times more for it <laughs> yeah I don't think uh, this shop's gonna do well here guys definitely not not at these prices I wonder if they've had any sales yet, guys. Last time I was here, everybody <laughs> was just leaving empty-handed. Have you sold anything yet? Have you sold anything yet? I said, have you sold anything yet? <laughs> yeah, so I just can't see it doing well here, guys. Not impressed. Him. This this would be maybe probably better. Well, if it was in Preston, it'd be better in a city centre of Preston, guys. Not. Uh, no, in a retail park. You know, retail parks are all about keeping cheerful, guys. Aren't they? Keeping cheerful. Seven hundred quid for a pair of shoes in there. <laughs> I'll have two pairs. See, Mr. Manager is not coming out, poking his nose into my business today, guys. Do you, do you want to buy any socks? No. Don't want to buy any socks? Sorry. No? Oh, sorry. Cheap, cheap socks. They come in threes. Yeah. No? Do you want to buy any socks? Do you want to buy any socks? Cheap socks? No. no. They're going cheap. They come in packs of three. I have enough. Three socks in one pack, so you'll always have a spare, you know? I have enough. You just change one foot at a time, you know? I you have enough? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Spread the word. Cheap socks go in here. Yeah? No, but you have customers who need to go to the toilet. We don't have toilets. And I think it would be a good idea for customers to have a toilet. It doesn't cost a lot to put a toilet in. The guys. I, I didn't design the building, mate. I'm not part of head office. I just work here. You're your manager here. Yeah, well, you've got an input. You've got an input then, aren't you? You've got a say in what's right for the customers. He's been doing that for years. Yeah. A billionaire. And he can't afford to put a toilet in for customers. I'm not saying he can't afford one. He needs it to run his yacht, doesn't he? That's what it is. Eh? Yeah. Don't you think there should be a... a public toilet? <laughs> you know, somebody... 
90 year old pension in a wheelchair pulls up here. Have you got a toilet here, son? What are you going to say? How are you going to feel? <laughs> we don't have it. Yes, but but JD don't have one, Wilco's don't have one, Ugo Outdoors don't have one. So why don't you be different and better? Well, I'll just take you over there. I just said that. Oh, okay. that is... What would they say? What would head office say? I know what they'd say. Same as what they've been saying for years. We don't have to have it. You don't know that. Well, they did. They would have told me. So why, why would they? Me? Why would they tell you? If it, if it, it could be you that's being, it could be you that's being investigated. But you see where I'm coming from. It's pretty bad from a, a billionaire's point of view that he doesn't provide a toilet, even for disabled. If it was just a disabled toilet, you know. To say to somebody in a wheelchair or on crutches, no, you've got to go over there. You haven't asked me. Yeah, but yeah. In fact, I think I've seen him on Facebook. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. I'm not on Facebook. I'm sure I've seen some people on Facebook. Not for me, I haven't. Mean. Yeah. You don't listen to me, are you? You're not having to That's an idiot on the end of the fucking radio. See, that's what you said in your social media video. Oh, I'm just trying to get, yeah. It's social media, I've seen it. It's, it's You've not seen me, before. I am yeah, not. I recognise your voice. I am not on Facebook. So what, you're just trying to get reactions out of people? Say what, these videos look, let's video in. If you want to get the company a fine from G GDPR, yeah, breach. Well, you so you're videoing me, so I'm not allowed to video you? You can video me, yeah. but I need your name, your ID, so that I can put it in for a copy. Wait, you won't give us your ID. Oh, you just play with your computer, will you? Right, you were saying. Right, guys, we're getting verbal abuse already now. Here we go. No, no, it's pointing at you. It's recording you, boy. It's recording you and your verbal abuse. Do you mind standing rather than putting the camera back to keep walking in? It's recording you and your verbal abuse. Verbal abuse, I'm not verbal abuse. I thought he was going to say toilet then. <laughs> So have you finished verbally abusing me, yeah? And grassing me up? Is nobody coming to protect you? No? Do you want to buy any socks? Any socks? Do you want to buy any cheap socks? No. You don't need the toilet, do you? Because you not get to go in here. Because he, he's a billionaire, he needs all the money to to fuel his yacht. You can't put toilets in for customers. So Mr. Manager, do you condone your uh, staff verbally abusing members of the public? I'm on Facebook. Never been on Facebook, guys. Mr. Manager, can I ask you a question? Do you condone your staff verbally abusing members of the public? You don't condone it? No? Is he ringing the police? 
Ah, yes, what's up, Pussy? He's ringing the police. He's got a thing about men in uniform. Grind the boy. Don't forget to tell them that I've recorded you being ver You don't want to talk to me, so shut up. <laughs> don't forget to tell them that I've recorded you being verbally abusive. What do you think you're doing, pal? I'm stopping you from taking pictures. Oh, yeah, keep your distance. Don't push me. Keep your distance. Don't push me. All right? Don't push keep me. Keep your distance. Don't push me. Oh, I will push you. Uh, keep you your distance from me. Uh, All right, uh, go for and it. And you're vaguely boozing me. Go for it. Go on. I'm not doing anything. You were going to go for it, I'm then. I'm not doing anything. Keep away from me. Right. Well, you don't push me. Keep away from me. <laughs> and you won't get pushed back. Same goes for you. Pair of idiots. How did you get to manager? You're stuck there abusing us and we're trying to do our job. He verbally abused we're me first. We're trying to first. do our job. He verbally... We're trying to run a store. Are you stupid? Why How stupid are you? That? There's two cameras rolling here yeah, that recorded really him being verbally abusive first and you're trying to blame me for giving him shit back. Be not swear, please. I've got <laughs> Tell your staff the same. He's not swore once. Has he not? Yeah. You're an idiot. You are a complete idiot. Yeah, you think you've got some bottle, don't you? Hey? Don't you? Look at him eyes. You think you've got some bottle, don't you? Why are you trying to get a reaction out of me? I've already got the reaction out of you, Paul. Well, because I've stood here. And you know what? And you know what? You bottled it. You're a pussy. You bottled it. Look at your behaviour in front of children. Children sat there. And you're squaring up to a member of the public. I was yes, you yeah, were. I yes, was standing yeah, on my were. shop floor. Yes, you, you were outside it, pal. No, I wasn't. I was on my shop floor. Sorry, the camera was showing. I hope it does. It shouldn't be so aggressive and invade my space. <laughs> yeah? Lawfully and legally, I'm allowed to defend my space. That, that's a good way to go, right? Oh, yeah. I thought I'm a lot of Shut up, you. Get that camera right out my face. He's got a camera right in my face. Can I do anything about this? <laughs> yes, I have come away with a phone with a camera. But surely he's got no right to be calling it. Oh, guys. They're crazier than you lot in here next door. <laughs> They're ringing the police. <laughs> Same. I don't know. Because <laughs> I've forgot a camera. Hi. <laughs> uh. I was just having a conversation inquiring why he never puts public toilets in, you know? Yeah. Uh, even a, a disabled toilet for somebody in a wheelchair. It, but they just get told like they've been doing for years, or oh, go there or go there, you know? So I was having a debate with the manager about that. And then one of the staff, you know, starts being verbally abusive, calling me names. So it's just spiralled from there. Hi. Hi. Yeah. I hope you are not filming me. Yes, especially uh, you. No, I'm not asking you anything. I have said this thing to you. <laughs> What's your name? My name? My name is James. Jim. Jammy. Jammy. Yeah. I'm Mark. Ah, okay. So, this so one what's is... Actually, what actually... I've come back here to see these guys. I had a video here maybe with these they, guys. Maybe they, don't, maybe they don't want you in their shop. A couple of, I'm not going in their shop. Ah, okay. I don't want to go in. I don't want to go in there. Yeah. I just come and I was doing a story on it. Now it's open. Yeah, you know and what, then I was asking one, the manager. One other, problem, one other problem to the fear is that of security, you know? Yeah. Like, um, he thinks say, I'm going to be in trouble because he's ringing the police no, now. No, they could say, for instance, that you're, you're having photographs. Maybe you have some guys who come, you know, nick things from here in the night and so on. You're making kind of reconnaissance. <laughs> you understand? Hostile that's, reconnaissance. Yeah, uh, that's, that's what that's what That's I a dangerous about. statement from a security guard. No, I'm just saying that maybe that's what I'm saying. So if that. you're called Jamie, yeah. why have you got Simon on there? It's it's just part of the name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. it online. <laughs> <laughs> I so I was having a debate with the manager here about why this company never puts any public toilets in. Yeah? They haven't done for years, they just send them to other businesses. Use their toilets, you know? It's wrong. The guy's a billionaire. 
how much would it cost him to put even a disabled toilet? If some pensioner turns up here in a wheelchair, the staff are going to say, oh no, we don't have a toilet. They have got toilets because they've got toilets for the staff. Yeah, that's true. So why not put one extra in for the members of the public? Okay. For all these customers who pays for his big yacht. Yeah? That is true. So they send them over there now. Yeah? That's wrong. That's morally wrong. Yeah. You know? For a billionaire. It's a wrong attitude. Yeah, so... Um... So I was having a debate with the manager about that. Yeah. And then him there yeah. started verbally abusing me. You know, calling me names, sad old man, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you say that? Yes, he said that. <laughs> and there's no need for that. I, I, I wasn't abusing him, I hadn't mm. said anything to him, I wasn't being nasty to him. Yeah. I was talking with the manager. No, just let me. But, he's so a, what are you going to do now? If you want to. I'm going to go and film him again, because he's a little pussy. Yeah? This one here. Look, he's on the phone to the police now. Yeah, am I? Do you see me as a threat? Am I being aggressive? <laughs> uh, no, it's no. just that uh, some of these things that you are doing, like uh, filming, right? Let me just say something. Yeah. Some of them at times they are they have some procedure you have to follow. <laughs> I mean, when someone comes to staff here, for for instance, yeah. they might do some yeah, procedure to follow. All right. Like. Uh, you mean like company policy? Yeah, like for instance, you come and you say, okay, I want you to, I want to like, you know, have an interview with the boss of mine, the kind of thing, and then you come out with another one. They might not be very comfortable when they see that you are doing it without having, you know, talked to them. You need to tell whoever that is on the radio. Nope. There's somebody on his radio. And you need to turn this off as well. Yeah. I mean, the camera too, you need to turn it off. Mine is off. You need to, there's members of the public, so you need to tell whoever's on the end of that radio to be careful about information. You need to do it now. No, 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 no. I can't yeah, you do. do. No, I don't. I don't. I can't. Yeah, you do. No, I can't do that. Uh, uh, I, I, my radio is look. It's off. I, I, I didn't even hear it, what he said. Just turned it off. It, it was coming through. Even, the same I, person on his radio talking about me was coming through on yours. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't hear that. You need to tell I didn't that person that. I didn't before hear that. I have to contact the governing body. Are they, com are they coming to protect you? Are they? Protect you, me heavy. <laughs> so guys, there we've got a pussy grass. He just wants to see a man in uniform. Probably wants to see his handcuffs. So he's got an image for tonight. Sorry mate, go on. So he's got some images for when he gets into bed tonight, guys. Don't forget about GDPR. Don't forget about GDPR, Mr. Manager. Mr. Manager, you think your company's above GDPR regulation? <laughs> hey? You won't be so cocky. Will you? You won't be so cocky when you get the company a fine for being stupid. They'll take it out of your wages, you idiot. There's the grass there, guys. <coughs> Start. <coughs> he started the verbal abuse first. That one there in the background. Yeah. And then when he gets a bit of harsh language back from the sad old man, he has, gets on the phone to the police to come and protect him, guys. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Sad old man. I beg your pardon? He's a nonce, did you say? Did you witness that? No. Nope. He's a nonce, is he? I don't know, yeah. <laughs> That's what you've just stated. Oh, yeah. To members, of your, to, to members of the public. You need to be careful, boy, while you're at work. You're not very intelligent, are you? And you are, man. I'm the one who's got you recorded, calling me a nonce. Record all of you like. Yeah, while you're in a workplace, you idiot. You do all you like.
You're not so decent cocky when I issue court papers, will you, pal? Mr. Manager there thinks it's funny. His mem he's standing there watching his member of staff being verbally abusive, guys. He's standing next to the guy watching him being verbally abusive. And he thinks it's funny. Really good image for the company. Real good image for the company, guys. Look at that, guys. GDPR breach. Computer screen on show to members of the public. So did you tell the police how important you are, mister? Did you? Where are you going? Did you tell the police how important you are? Mr. Manager, that's disgraceful behaviour from you, if you're a manager, of what you've just witnessed. You're a member of staff saying, that's disgraceful. That's what make sure that this footage goes to head office. <laughs> what are you filming for, mate? None of your business, Sonny. What are we filming the guy for? It's social media, I think. Traffic and adventure. Sad, isn't it? Have you been there all day just filming? What are we filming, mate? None of your business either. Well, what guy's filming? You're standing there. What for? He's doing his job, he's working. So am I. I know, but that's what I'm thinking. He's stood silently with his back towards you and you're triggering him off. I know, he's rude, isn't he? He's not being rude. No, no, he wasn't being rude. He was just minding his business, but why are you covering? I don't get it, Louise. Diamond, leave him alone. You can come in, guys, and call him. Come in. You can come in if you want. Yeah, I know, we didn't really go. Oh, okay. Hey? What's my It's up to you, pal. No, do you see the verbal abuse I get? Sorry? Do you see the verbal abuse people like me get? It's just a man with a camera, but members of the public just poke their nose in and start being verbally abusive. Yeah. You know, for no reason. I haven't even spoke to them. But this person here should be sacked. He should not be working in this shop. He's giving it a bad image. Hello again. You alright, Paul? Come on, do you want me to chase the police up for you? Hey? Do you want me to chase the police up for you? I've not got all day. Where's he going? Sneaky. Sneaky motherfucker over there, look. In there, guys, look. There's a gun. There's one. There's two. Security guards everywhere. Man, what a dangerous camera guy. <laughs> we got one there sneaking around the corner. 
Okay. And we got another one here. Where's your colleagues going? Hmm? Aren't they coming to back up? Your colleagues? Oh. Two of them just went that way. Hello, Mr. Manager. Hi, How, buddy, you? Right? How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. you? I'm alright. You see that? That's how you speak to a member of the public when you're management. Idiot. That's how you do it. This one here, guys, was ready to go hands on. Reckoned himself a bit of a tough guy. But he bottled it, guys. Completely. What's that brown stuff running down the back of your leg? It's hot today. Hmm? Simon, it's hot today. Yeah, it's a hot day. Sometimes it's cloudy. It's good. You see, I speak with Flannels. The manager there from Flannels just walked in and said, Hello, how are you? You know, that's how you speak to members of the public. Mm -hmm. Whether they've got a camera or not, I'm not harming anybody. You know, not like those idiots in there. I spoke with the staff in here, they stand and speak. I asked them questions, they explained. This place, crazy stuff. Maybe the heat is getting to them, I don't know. <laughs> or maybe they get no jiggy jiggy last night. I don't know, maybe. You like jiggy jiggy? Everybody likes jiggy jiggy. <laughs> some people get it, some people don't. <laughs> and I think they didn't. Maybe. <laughs> oh dear. I thought the police would have been here by now. He's a very important man, him. <laughs> you know? A couple of armed response units. Sometimes I have to ring the police myself, you know? Come on, guys, I haven't got all day. Guys, this gentleman here has acted 100% professional. Big up for this guy. Really? Yes. What do you do with the footage? YouTube. YouTube. Simon, you're going to be a star. Really? You're going to be shown as a good person. Yes. Have you been on YouTube before? No? No, I don't. Uh, one of your security guards here is one of my subscribers. The Polish guy. Oh, you know him? Yeah, he knows me very well. He's a Damien. subscriber. Ah. <laughs> Damien, the Polish guy. He's a subscriber? Yeah. Yeah, he was here last time I was here. Yeah. When they <laughs> flannels. <laughs> That's a cracking pair of boots, that. Did you get them from inside? He's not speaking to me now. <laughs> yeah, so Damien, is he not in today? No, no he's not. No. no, he was in the morning, he's gone back home. Oh, Alright. Yeah. Yeah. I just came in at 3 o'clock. You just came on? 3 o'clock? Yeah. What time's it home till tonight? 8. 8. Nine, yeah. All these shots, they shot about 8 o'clock then, do they? Yeah, All these. Do, they do. 
The McDonald's stays open, does it? Yeah, McDonald's is, yeah. It's KFC, 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 yeah, they can stay up. They can stay up so from till uh, someone uh, till later. Well, what do you so think? So what are you going to do next now? You well. Wait for, you waiting for the police? <laughs> I generally do wait for the police, but sometimes I could be waiting for an hour. Oh, really? Because oh, the police know who I am. The police know it's me. <laughs> and they know what to do. They know what I do there. Yeah. They know I'm not here to harm anybody. Yeah. I'm in a public place. You know? You could be shopping. Yes, exactly. But uh, sometimes they turn up, sometimes they don't. You know. But you can only wait so long. You know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't like to leave because if they want to speak to me, they have to come looking for me then. Which is wasting police time, you know? What this guy's doing. The police, what the police should start just saying when these places ring is, Oi, stop being a pussy, it's just a camera, get on with your job, you know? Leave the man alone. <laughs> and that's it. Well, that's what the police should say. Wait, put that back, set the alarms off. <laughs> Normally, when they come, what do they tell you? Sometimes I'll be arrested for it. Oh, really? <laughs> You've been arrested? Yes, five times. And then when they go, what happens? No, I've been arrested. Sometimes they come out, they know I'm not doing nothing wrong. It all depends what lies the person phoning the police tells them. Oh, okay. See, now, for so all that. I say, oh, you have been harassing guys here. Oh. Yeah, they always lie. That's why I wear this as a witness, you see. Uh, now, that, that manager. So when guys follow you in your YouTube feeds and uh, stuff, do yeah. they pay you some money? You YouTube know? pays money, yeah. But I don't earn much. Yeah. I don't do, do this full time. Well, you, you're not doing a, a full time, you're just... No, like, I have a full time job as well, so I do this on my days off and when I'm not working in between contracts. Uh. <sighs> oh dear. So, guys, I've probably been waiting 20, 25 minutes now for the police. I don't think they're going to come. They're not sure going to show up, maybe. Uh, they're not going to come? They might come in an hour's time, you know. So, when you're gone? Yeah, usually. Sometimes they'll ring back half an hour later, the police, and say, oh, is he still there? You know, Because they know that we can't hang about too long, you know. You move on to the next job. Yeah, the next so job. That's so if you leave from here, where are you going to? Oh, I can't tell you that. <laughs> that's what a police officer would, officer would say, you know, fishing. Uh, yeah. Where are you going next, yeah. you know? And then you say, no, I can't tell you. In there in the blue, he's just come right up to me, yeah, like that. Very you know, close. Very close, you know? So that you can't feel him? No, he was being aggressive, you know? Mm. You've seen it in his eyes. Now, woefully, I could have just gone, bang stay back, you know? I felt that as a threat, you know? But I didn't, I just gently pushed him back, kept away from me, you know? And he came back again, I had to push him away again. They don't know the law, these shopkeepers, these shop assistants. They know how to tell lies to the police, you know? They're commonly what we in the industry call Snowflakes. So what do you do actually? Do they call it what? Snowflakes? People like these stuff here. You know, oh, he's got a camera. Film the police. Oh, don't film me. You know, snowflakes. 